Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, and on this day last week, we had some much needed content in one of the most hyped areas of FC24. And this week, we need the exact same thing to happen. We're taking a look at evolutions today, guys, because there is a chance for some really good evolutions content to be dropping today, or at least. We hope. So we'll talk about that. And I'm expecting a bigger day of content in general. New team of the week is going to be coming out today. Store packs potentially on Wednesdays. 50Ks they've dropped the past few weeks, which moves the market. And maybe a couple other SBCs as well. We'll take a look at leaks and a lot of other stuff going on right now in FC24. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content to start off really fast. Man, yesterday was a quiet day. One player SBC is all that we had. Lay some air. The weirdest thing here is medium high work rates on a striker. But the good thing is it's only an 83 rated squad, which 83s are literally almost discard. And this is so easy to complete because we have a lot of those types of lower fodder cards in our clubs. Or at least if you're like me, I need higher rated fodder. I don't have enough of that, but I got plenty of 82s and 83s. So I'm doing the team of the week upgrade every day and I'm probably going to end up doing this card too. Four star, five star. Again, the work rates are the problem. Really good shooting, solid dribbling as well. Decent play styles on the card. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's just not too much to say there. Turn in some 83s in a team of the week and you got yourself a free card. It's 86 rated. Um, maybe you could use an SBCs at the very least as well. So not too much going on with that content from yesterday, but there was actually more content, in my opinion, in the news on Twitter. Now we're looking ahead a good bit here, guys. We're looking ahead towards not even this next week, but the week after that, two weeks from now, we will be have having the next promo after Trailblazers Foot Centurions, this was tweeted by Run the Icon Marketing, confirmed by Foot Sheriff, is Foot Centurions. And you might remember hearing a little bit about this promo at the early stages before FC24 came out. That's because this post right here, this picture is from the EA pitch notes that they dropped before the launch of FC24, talking about how the Foot Centurions promo would be one of the early promos in Ultimate Team this year that would allow you to take a promo card and use Evolutions to get a very specific and kind of unique card design that goes along with the promo. So you start with the base promo item, the Centurions card. It goes to the in progress and then a completed Centurions Evolution. The card design would look like this. So like a combination of the Evolution card design and the Centurions promo card. I think that's pretty sick. But again, this is something that's not going to be coming out right away. We're talking about Evolutions today, but this is something to think about in the future. Also, the Evolu or the Centurions promo is going to contain our first special icon cards of the year. So there's a lot of hype upcoming for a promo like this as well, but it is not this Friday. It is next week after Trailblazers team number two. And that gets us to where we are right now in this game for today's content with Evolutions. Guys, last Wednesday, we had two new evolutions, the Pacey Winger, which Politano, Malcolm, a lot of great players. Alicia Lehman was one that a lot of people were evolving through the Pacey Winger. Of course, it's 50,000 coins. The upgrade's good, but not amazing. But really, the Bruiser Wingback is one that just about everybody is doing. Both of these made card prices move a lot, like Weya, um, that's Rico Lewis, Manafa went extinct on the market as silver cards as people were putting them into either of these evolutions. And we were very excited to get new evolutions last Wednesday. Well, today, that hype builds again because maybe Wednesdays is going to become the day where we start to get evolutions either every week or most weeks on this game since that's when we had them last week on Wednesday. And this is what we're talking about today. This is why there's hype for Trailblazers evolutions. EA has said that a number of evolution slots will be released during the two-week campaign, allowing you to celebrate the players who have stood out for your club in Ultimate Team since the kickoff of FC24. Now, with that wording specifically, allowing you to celebrate players who have stood out for your club, that makes us think, makes me think at least, this could be one of two things. First of all, I think this could be new evolutions dropping in relation to the Trailblazers because the whole point of the Trailblazers promo is that they're um, putting out promo cards for players 
that have been doing and performing really well and doing great things in real life, right? That's why we got Sun, as well as having Leao in Team 2. They've been performing really well in real life. And if players are going to stand out for our clubs, I guess maybe they could be evolutions that we have already completed. Guys, could this be an opportunity to take a card that you've already evoed? And I would have to think it probably would be either a welcome foundation uh, evolution, or that's the actual, that's both of them. The welcome to the evolutions, right? Or the foundations, right? This was Alvarez, the card that I got out of the founders evolution. A lot of people did like Darwin Nunez, Beto, Dan Juma. And then this Mukhtar is what I got out of the welcome to evolutions. Here's my first thought for today. Maybe, just maybe, this Trailblazers evolution would be one of those first two evos that we completed that you would be able to upgrade them to another level. I would absolutely love the opportunity to upgrade my Founders Evolution, even if it's only like a plus one or a plus two. Like a plus two would be kind of sick. Imagine the 84 Darwin Nunez being able to take that card to an 85 or an 86. That would be really sick for a few more games, a few more challenges. Maybe you add like a play style onto the card as well. Or even the Welcome to Evolutions, um, who I did was Mukhtar. That was my example, the player that I just randomly did from my club to get that evolution done. Maybe today we'll get another opportunity to upgrade those to another level. That's my first idea, potentially, what this could mean on the website here, taking players who have stood out for your club to the next level. The second idea I have is, let's think about games played for some of these players. If they've really made a difference, maybe it's a player that's played more than X number of games for your club and his first owner, right? Like Joe Cole has probably played the most games for me, 144 matches. Am I expecting to Evo Joe Cole today? No, I can't imagine guys that this evolution is gonna be that cracked, but maybe there's a max rating. Like it's, let's say it's like an 83 or an 84 rated card or a certain like uh, attributes on the face of the card that you could upgrade. If the player has more than a certain number of games for your club, you can turn them into an Evo card and get a slight upgrade. That's my second idea of maybe what these Trailblazers evolutions could be about. Now it does say a number of evolution slots, which in my opinion means two, it means more than one, a number of slots, plural, right? I think they would probably only drop two or three. Now, as we see here on Footbin, the Welcome to Evolutions expires in 15 days. The Founders Evolution's out for a long more time, a long time after this. Bruiser Wingback and Pacey Winger are only out for another week. So maybe they're going to drop us one or two today and then drop us another one or two next week on Wednesday when these two expire. Not entirely sure. That's just me kind of thinking right there. But I'm excited for new evolutions today, guys. And I think it's very possible that we will get one or two new evos today. Again, I just don't know if it's going to be a player we've already evoed, giving them another upgrade or an entirely new evo with maybe a first owned player or somebody who's played a certain number of games for our club that we can take and that we can evo. Now, the thing with that is if it's not a player that we can buy off of the market, then there's probably not going to be any market movements at all. Remember last week, of course, when we had the brand new evos, we were rushing out to the market or a lot of people were to try and go find these cards that are now extinct because those were the most popular and the most meta looking cards to evolve in those different evos. If it's all first owner or stuff that we've already evoed based, then you're not going to have those market movements today and you won't be able to trade around that. But of course, if there it is, if it is involving something that you can buy off of the market, make sure that you're using Footbin or Foot.gg because once the evolutions drop here on Foot.gg, you will be able to see um, the evolution, the upgrades, the requirements, and some of the most popular and best players that people are putting into this Evo through eligible players, the evolved players. You can see all this stuff through here. That is something to watch out for today when a new evolution drops. It's part of the fun, right? When a new Evo drops, it's like, okay. Who do I like, but also who's really good to put into this evolution. So keep an eye out for that. Foot.gg's Evo stuff is really, really good looking. So Evo hype today is very, very high. And if it doesn't drop today, if we get nothing, we're going to be very disappointed. But I don't expect that to be the case. Now, also today, we got a brand spanking new team of the week. More Wednesday content coming in today. Guys, I think Wednesdays have actually been some of the more exciting days of content in the last couple of weeks, if I think back to what we have had. And I hope that continues today, except for this team of the week looks incredibly mid. This is the leaked team of the week from Foot Sheriff. Virgil van Dyke, Bruno Fernandez, not bad cards in there at all, but the rest of the team does not look near as good 
as some of the other team of the weeks that we have had before. Klaus is one of the interesting notes for this team uh, because he already has the road to the knockouts card. When this leak was first put out, I actually think that Klaus went down in price as people were, were worrying that his inform would be higher rated or even the same rating as this card. But of course, an inform would not be a live item. So this card rebounded back up just a little bit. The only question I have for this team of the week is who is going to be featured? Would they feature Canyon Lee, PSG? Would they figure, feature Jonathan Klaus? Maybe Luca Bacchio for more of a pacey striker in La Liga for Sevilla? I'm not entirely sure. That could be something to watch out for today, but this team of the week does not look that amazing. But I still believe that EA would have the potential to drop packs in the store, and this could impact the market a bit today, guys, because the last couple of Wednesdays, we have had 50k packs dropped into the store, and they are not there right now. I think there's a very very high probability that they add a tradable store pack in the store today. 50k packs would be the highly, high, most likely uh, thing to happen there today. And that would supply some fodder on the market, which is honestly so very needed because fodder prices continue to rise. I think I actually just saw that Hyun Min Sun's Player of the Month reached the 1, mil 1 million coins to do this SBC after it was 700k on Friday when it first released. Fodder is freaking flying, bro. 88s are about max price at 27K. 89s are all, uh, most of them are extinct. And the ones that have higher price ranges are about 55K, which is crazy. And 90 rated players like Harry Kane and Benzema, these guys are max price as well. Benzema's 60,000 coins max price on the market right now. Fodder has gone up so much. If you have fodder in your club, I can't, I mean, I can't see it going up a crazy amount higher, guys. We've got so many SBCs, and we haven't had supply for a couple of days, at least tradable supply. We're getting rewards tomorrow on Thursday, which won't impact the market that much. But I see this more as maybe for, like, the cards that are extinct. I don't expect EA to update price ranges this fast as these guys are about extinct or almost extinct. I would take the money on some of those guys. Maybe it's even, like, Rodri or Casemiro. Guys, honestly... Unless EA update price ranges a lot faster than what they normally do, they're probably not going to get updated in time for the demand to outweigh the supply. I would think about taking the cash there if you have any of those extinct cards. Just something to kind of note, because with 50k packs today, I would especially think that maybe 85s, 86s would drop down a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. I think today might be the turning point for this fodder and just going up and up and up. It might start to cool off a little bit today. And then tomorrow with rivals, maybe dip again before ri rising a little bit into marquee matchups. And then especially after marquee matchups, we'll talk about in tomorrow's video, I do expect the fodder to drop. So definitely keep an eye out for some of that. Hopefully this is like the peak for fodder. I, it's been nice. If you've made profit on fodder, it's been great. Let me be honest. I made some profit on fodder as well, flipping it during this last couple of days, but it's time for fodder to come down so we can actually do some SBC. So watch out for that today. And then also speaking of packs and supply, really interesting pack code that was added just a few hours ago, a max 86 base hero player, which this one's the real head scratcher because it's like, we just had a max 87. Why is there another pack that's being added that is a lower rated version? It's definitely not a mistake for an icon pack because I don't even know how many 86 rated icons we have. It's definitely for a hero pack. So it's taking out all the 87 rated heroes that would be included in this pack as well. Um, this kind of, again, reminds me of, is EA going to make a mistake and put a 25k hero pack in the store? Is this them adding that pack to the code? Uh, honestly, guys, the max 87 hero goes away today, which is very interesting how short that SBC was out as well. Are they going to drop another one today on the game that's max 86? That would be very surprising. Honestly, I, I doubt that. Uh, but this pack being in the code is pretty interesting. So, Keep an eye out for that. I don't know what's going to go on there, but I'm interested to see what happens. And then a bunch of other packs, season opener, small rare players, season opener, players pack plus. This to me sounds like tradable packs that will be added to the store maybe this weekend. Uh, I think some of the other season opener packs that they had were related to store packs, especially it's basically like you get an extra pack inside of a pack that you're opening. So kind of almost sounds like a two for one pack deal, which is something that EA started last year pretty early in FIFA 23 for store packs. Looks like they might be starting that again today. Now, also, we have to cover a couple of player of the month SBC leaks. 
This one's interesting and deserved. Grirasi has won the Bundesliga Player of the Month. If, I mean, dude, if that's his actual play of the month SBC, that is a cracked looking card. 90 shooting, 88 dribbling, 85 pace, and 88 physical. That's going to be a play of the month that would probably be pretty cheap, but something to watch out for in the probably next day, two, three days, maybe Thursday, tomorrow could be a day where we get some play of the months. But that's not even the most interesting play of the month, at least in my opinion. We also are getting, this is official, the official League One play of the month winner is a goalkeeper, guys, which you may not think is very hype. But this guy, I'm, I'm pretty sure, if you're on a budget League One team, this might be one of those cheap player of the month SBCs that is actually worth doing. This guy is six foot six. He's got nice links, which only links him to a couple of players in this game, like the new Dante uh, Trailblazers promo card. I think he's actually up in price a little bit. Um, Tadebo, the center back, maybe is up a little bit. There's some people investing off of that um, player winning the, the, the player of the month, um, Budka. So definitely keep an eye out for that. He might be a really cheap, cracked goalkeeper for a League One side if you've got Polish and or League One links in your team. That could be an SBC that drops tomorrow as well. We usually don't see Player of the Months on Wednesdays. Um, but then speaking of SBCs again today, like we just saw, the Max 87 Hero is going away. It's expiring. The Team of the Week upgrade is going away as well. That's expiring. I hope that the Team of the Week upgrade refreshes. I would not expect the Max 87 Hero to refresh. Um, if it did, that would be crazy for fodder. Um, and I would freaking do it again. Why not? But we also got to look out for that max 86. So SBC content today, question mark on it. The hype a hundred percent for sure is on evolutions, but let's talk about the market really quick as well. Like we mentioned, I would expect to see some, some dips today if we do get the store pack supply. But other than that, guys, the market right now is just very, very, dead it's i mean prices are moving prices are going up and down people are investing in out of packs golds and if you're looking to invest in a guy like a hyunmin son maybe cristiano ronaldo players that are going to be going out of packs for this next promo of trailblazers too maybe sophia smith uh guys i think i would wait until especially rivals rewards and marquee matchups coming out in the next couple of days next day really um wait for some dips in price before you go and try to buy one of these this is going to be one of the most popular cards that people want to invest in uh you can tell though he's already gone up a lot monday sun was seventy thousand coins with the leaks and with the monday market rise he went all the way to 80k and then of course more leaks more uh confirmed that sun is going to be in the promo team and out of packs he went to eighty four thousand coins yesterday i would say guys that if sun goes back down to like 75k that'd be a price where i would say okay I think I can buy a son or two, put it on my transfer list, and hope for the next week that he can go up in price because he has so much hype. Let me just show you guys Griezmann's graph because he's out of packs right now because he's got a trailblazer in packs, obviously. Griezmann, uh, if you take a look back at last, when was it? Last Wednesday and Thursday, he went down to 85,000 coins. I think he was not leaked to be in the promo team before this, though, and then he really started to go up. He went down with MMs to 91K, and then from there, it was just rise, 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 all the way up to where he is now at 115, 116,000 coins. And of course, you'll want to sell this card pretty soon as it is going to come back into packs, but that's the sort of thing you can maybe be looking for with a Hyunmin Sun. Um, for the players that are going to be in this upcoming promo team, I mean, Sun, Ronaldo, those would be some of the biggest names you want to look at. Cancelo as well would be one that you'd want to keep an eye on. I'm not entirely sure about his price at the moment, but that would be a card you would want to watch as well. I think he's pretty cheap. 21,000 coins. He was 17K over the weekend, but another one that's going to get a promo card soon that you would want to watch closely if there's some drops in price into this weekend. Uh, well, into tomorrow on Thursday, really. Before the weekend, you want to get bought in on a card like that. And maybe those drops start today with 50k packs in the store but for the market right now as well just the quick flips is working out pretty good i picked up a vandersaar for 553 looks like right now his cheapest on the market is 600k or right around 600k i'm gonna try to catch a sale here overnight list it up and try to catch a sale i don't know if it was worth spending 500k for a goalkeeper that's just my opinion but i thought that vandersaar was decent but he did fraud a couple of times. I did pick up a couple of informs for upgrades as well. I lazy sold a good set, 27,000 coins. And I'm just waiting for the right time to sell my Lewandowski's. I might think about selling him today. But man, he's so rare. I could just see this card being 550k in two days. And wishing that I didn't sell at 500k if that is what I wish to do and decide to do with him. I'm a little bit 
I'm not convinced yet on what I do. Take my 100K profit because I bought him at 390 and now he's 500K. Or do I just wait it out a little bit? We'll see. It's kind of, I kind of want my coins for this weekend's promo just to be able to flip cards. But that's a, a dilemma that I'm going to have to figure out pretty soon. Now, also last night, just a quick account update. We are four squads out of six on Hyunmin's son. We're working on the SBC. The 80 plus upgrade yesterday did actually bless us with an Antonio Rudiger. So I got my best pull out of that that I've had so far. I'm two squads away from Sun. I'm going to have to spend more coins. Guys, I've spent, I think, about... Uh, if I would buy Lavelle and Bernardo Silva, I would have spent 300k doing this Hyunmin Sun card, which is more than I wanted to spend. But with fodder being where it is, I just it's worth it. It's worth it to get this card because he just seems so unbelievably cracked. I'm hoping to get this SBC done after Rivals Rewards. That would be the perfect plan. And I think a lot of you guys are waiting for Rivals Rewards as well to get a little bit of extra fodder. And we'll talk more about Rivals Rewards tomorrow for sure. But, man, fodder right now is just hard to come by. EA, drop us a couple other objectives as well, please. Like, maybe a new uh, themed team pursuit. Maybe themed team pursuit number four today. That'd be nice if you just dropped us. I'll do some more squad battle games for like an 80 plus times five. And those, I got a couple lock, um, 83 pluses, 84s from those packs. So drop us a little bit more action in there, EA. That would be nice uh, because we just need fodder right now. And I'll take it any way that I can get it. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, if you're hyped for evolution today, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you in the stream today. Peace out.